Haley clutched her side for what felt like the hundredth time that day. The pain was intense, but what stung more was the disbelief from those around her. Despite repeatedly being told that her suffering was all in her head, one doctor finally recognized her symptoms and decided she needed treatment. Her dad wasn't pleased. Haley was an avid swimmer. At just 18 months old, she had taken to the water and had been passionate about it ever since. However, during a routine practice one day, she noticed she wasn't gliding through the water as smoothly as usual. Just before reaching the end of the pool, a sharp pain caused her to struggle. With the help of her team, Haley was safely lifted out of the water. The twinge in her side made it difficult for her to move properly. The lifeguard wasn't able to determine what had happened, so he called her parents to collect her. Although Haley had made it safely out of the water, her troubles were only just beginning. Haley thought it must have been a pulled muscle, but as the day went on, she complained about the pain more and more. As it is common for athletes, especially swimmers, to suffer discomfort, her parents, Beth and Brian, took her to bed and told her to get some rest. But that night, Haley woke up screaming. Haley couldn't get out of bed. Not only was she suffering from the same intense pain in her side, but she wasn't able to lift herself up either. Her mom and dad leaped out of bed and flipped the lights on. It's hard to breathe, Haley told them. Beth and Brian were seriously worried, but they had no idea what to do. They realized their daughter might have done some serious damage when they saw the distress on her face as the agonizing pain made it impossible for her to do even the simplest of tasks. The next morning, they helped Haley get dressed and took her to the hospital, but nothing could prepare them for what the doctor had to say. Beth and Brian waited as the doctors ran their tests. They didn't seem to ask many questions about Haley's particular case and appeared to have made up their minds as to what was going on. For Haley's parents, this was a relief. At least they'd know what was happening. But the results left them gobsmacked. The doctor said that everything was okay and that Haley had nothing to worry about. The scan showed no tearing or bruising around her rib cage. Haley was told she'd probably just overdone it at the pool and should take a break from swimming until the pain went away. But Haley refused to leave the doctor's office without a better explanation. You must have missed something, Haley insisted, fighting back tears. The pain is unbearable. The doctor just repeated his previous diagnosis and showed her that the scan hadn't detected anything out of the ordinary. In the end, they admitted something that pushed the young swimmer over the edge. She couldn't believe they would even suggest such a thing. With all the tests coming back negative, the doctor suggested the pain could be stress-related. In other words, it was all in her head. Haley ran out of the doctor's office in tears. She felt so alone and scared. Were her dreams of becoming an Olympic swimmer over? She needed help. Haley's dad found his daughter sobbing in a hospital parking lot. Although she was a teenager with typical teenage problems, there was no reason to think the physical pain she was suffering was psychosomatic. Did they think she was doing this for attention? Brian promised his daughter he would get to the bottom of what was going on, but in reality, he didn't know where to turn. By this point, even strapping on a backpack or using a hairdryer left Haley crying in pain. Brian was furious that a doctor would even suggest to his suffering little girl that it was all in her head so he did what any father would do. He got to work looking for the best doctors in the country to get Haley well again. Right from the outset, he faced nothing but obstacles. Brian was recommended a top doctor by a friend from work and took Haley directly to see him. But despite a more thorough analysis, this doctor more or less echoed the findings of the first one. Nothing was coming up on the scans, so there was nothing wrong with her. The desperate father couldn't bear to watch his daughter in agony any more and vowed to do whatever it took to get her back to her normal life. Then Beth discovered a promising lead. Haley's mom, Beth, had been desperately scrolling through medical websites looking for some kind of explanation, but nothing useful was coming up. It took the best part of a year until she discovered the work of Dr. Lisa McMahon, who had a personal experience that would prove pertinent to Haley's case. But would they be able to get an appointment? It was just really hard as a parent to watch her kid be in pain and not be able to do anything about it, said Brian. But when we took her to the Phoenix Children's Hospital in Arizona, things started to look hopeful. Dr. Mixie Mahan welcomed Haley warmly when she arrived at the hospital and said she could see that what Haley was going through was really tough. Haley smiled for the first time in months. 
Finally, someone understood. But could she help her? Dr. McMahon put her hand on Haley's shoulder and told her everything was going to be all right. The budding Olympian swallowed hard as she watched Dr. McMahon go through all the same tests as the previous doctors. But when they sat down to look at the results, Dr. McMahon was more confident than the others. She explained her diagnosis and was sure she'd found what every previous doctor had missed. Dr. McMahon explained that Haley was suffering from a rare condition known as slipping rib, meaning the cartilage surrounding her lower rib cage wasn't staying fixed where it should be and was causing her pain. The doctor was able to quickly diagnose Haley's condition and recommended the correct treatment. The reason she was able to detect it so fast is quite a coincidence. Dr. Maxi Mahan had suffered from the condition herself when she was Haley's age. The symptoms Haley described led her to investigate something that any other doctor would have overlooked. The rare condition is caused by cartilage from the lower ribs slipping, which causes the sufferer pain in their chest or upper abdomen. It usually occurs in middle-aged people, but diagnosis was one thing. Successful treatment would be another altogether. Haley's dad was dreading it as she prepared for her first session of physical therapy. He knew she had a long and painful journey ahead of her. Would it hurt even more? Would it eventually take her pain away? Would she ever be able to swim again? Fortunately for Haley, the treatment was highly effective, and she can now move without wincing in pain. Her recovery was so inspiring that her idol, Missy Franklin, gifted her a designer swimsuit. I'm definitely feeling better, Haley said. It's wonderful to live again without the constant fear of pain. Can you imagine enduring a whole year of agony without knowing the cause? What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.